Assalamu alaikum and good evening and welcome once again to Community Champions with me, Zakir Khan. Um, tonight we have a very special program lined up for you. Uh, we're actually talking to uh, some members of uh, 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 a fantastic uh, uh, FEMA award, which is Limelight, and also we're talking to members and founders and directors of the long-awaited film Shangram, which I believe a lot of people are already aware of. Shangram, which is a film produced, written and directed by a British-born Bangladeshi. So keep watching and you'll find out more if you don't know anything about Shangram so far. Now, let me introduce you to my guest. Uh, I'll start from my right. Um, on my far right, I have Peter Hewitt, who is a, a course leader for the London Met University and also a judge on the Limelight Awards. Peter, welcome to the show. Thank you. And next to Peter, a very familiar face, uh, I, I probably need to give a little introduction, uh, Murad Qureshi, a London Assembly member. Murad, well, welcome. Well, as you know, I'm always to the left of you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you yeah. we'll, we'll come back to that later. Murad. <laughs> okay, um, and on my immediate left, I have uh, Mansur Ali. Now, Mansur is the, uh, the founder of Limelight Film Awards and also the writer, producer and director of Shang Rang the movie. So Munsir, welcome to the show. Thank you, Zakir Great to be here. How are you? Okay. I'm very good, yes. Good. And finally we have uh, Stephen Hopwing. Hi Stephen. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Now Stephen is uh, uh, an actor um, and he actually played the role of the editor in the movie Shang Rang. I remember you throwing away the, uh, the script at the end. Uh -huh. In the bin. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Not wise move. I think we'll get some calls <laughs> about that. <laughs> okay, um, viewers, uh, before we start, uh, you know, it's a tradition that we actually have. Uh, we try to show you some documentary or clips of the organization that we're talking about tonight. So uh, let's watch a small documentary on Limelight Film Awards. And after the documentary, we'll come back and talk about why the Limelight Film Award was. Um, set up and you know why Monson founded this and you know how, how, how has it benefited the local community and local young people who are interested in films and arts. So let's watch a documentary and we'll come back. Limelight Film Awards গত 7 বছর ধরে আয়োজিত এই অনুষ্ঠানটি বিলেতের অন্যতম জনপ্রিয় শর্ট ফিল্ম কম্পিটিশন এই পর্যন্ত অনুষ্ঠানে প্রায় 1400 শর্ট ফিল্ম প্রদর্শিত হয়েছে আর এই আয়োজনটি মুখরিত হয়েছে প্রায় 500 জন খ্যাতনামা চলচ্চিত্র ও টিভি অনুষ্ঠান নির্মাতা ও তারকাদের পদচারণায় এই আয়োজনটি দীর্ঘদিন ধরে এগিয়ে চলেছে যার সফল নেতৃত্বে তিনি হলেন মসুর আলী been running now for seven years we had our seventh award ceremony back in uh, June uh, and the idea was really to set up something that helps to uh, identify emerging film talent so what we do on the uh, uh, during the award ceremony we have a good couple of hundred of films uh, come up and we shortlist them into different categories and we have people like Peter who uh, generously give their time to judge the films as well and on the night we identify 12 new filmmakers each year okay so the nominations are sent in by what? Schools? Nominations are sent in uh, schools, youth clubs, uh, that's free for them to uh, send them in. Mm -hmm. uh, filmmakers, established filmmakers, emerging filmmakers, community-based filmmakers, 
mainly from the UK but also from abroad and we've been advised that about a year ago it became the largest independent short film awards so we're very very happy and proud of that and how do you publicize you know, for people to you know uh, main, uh, it's done through our uh, partners, it's done through established organisations, London Metropolitan University being one of them as well, uh, and there's a massive uh, presence online for filmmakers and emerging mm -hmm. filmmakers as well. So just to give you an idea, we didn't realise how wide this was, so uh, we now have films from India, Tehran, Bolivia. Really? Yeah, and wow. we, when we were in Cannes, everyone knew about the film awards, and this all set, uh, was, was started up, set up in Tower Hamlets, which is really, really amazing that it's gone international. So what, what motivated you personally to start this project? I uh, did a BA Honours in Film Production at London Met University <laughs> 10 years ago. Well, London Met tonight. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's the only time it's going to happen, Pete, so yeah, don't get used to it. <laughs> but very soon uh, I found out that it was very difficult to get any work in the media, the stuff that you would enjoy doing. Uh, but I also realised that there was a lot of other people out there that had a lot of creative talent and had stories to tell but no real platform to kind of a get that recognition and b get the support so while i was setting up and i was being somewhat successful in my early days i approached canary wolf group uh, and i spoke to you guys and i, I saw a fantastic an opportunity mm -hmm. and just to give you an example one of the filmmakers uh, that won an award three years ago he made his film for five quid so you can make a really? film. Yeah, five pounds. That, that was his budget. He had five quid and he made it's the amazing, film. amazing, isn't it? And we didn't know about this until he went on the stage. So, yeah. <laughs> wow. And he was one of the finalists? Or? Uh, no, there's 12. Uh, he was one of the winners. No, so one of the winners? Yeah, one of the actual winners. Brilliant, yeah. isn't it? It's yeah. fantastic, yeah. Let me, let me go to Peter now. Peter, um, you are a, a judge on the Limelight Film That's Awards. Right, yes. And have you been the judge from the beginning? Or? No, I, I've done it four times now, I think. Yeah. Yeah, and what, you know, what made you decide to become a judge on this? Munsoor. Munsoor, yeah. Very, very <laughs> persuasive person. <laughs> when when Munsoor calls, the answer has to be yes. Has to, has to be yes. Well, I believe Munsoor also studied under you. No? That's right, he did, yes. He was uh, how was the other student? Um, he was a good student, yeah. I mean, you know, when I came to judge the first time, he told this story of, of me being very negative to the first years and saying how difficult it was in the media. Yeah. Um, and so I think the fact that he's, he's pursued that and made a success of it kind of says something about Mansour as a person, because uh, it is a very difficult industry. Absolutely. I think, um, you know, for, uh, from my experience, I believe this is probably the only... Uh, short film awards that we actually hold in Tower Hamlets, if not, I don't know, anywhere else, but it's definitely in Tower Hamlets. And uh, when he first started, I actually attended the first, you know, the first one, the very first, and uh, I was quite impressed with the quality of the nomination, you know, people sending in. And yeah. some of the, I think one of them was a local school, and it was an amazing uh, short video, a film, done by lo local kids from a local school, and you just think, wow, what talent we have in our community. Now, are you surprised with the, um, the level of the quality of, you know, the entrance no, no, we I'm not, not surprised no? at all. You know, I, I, a, a lot of my students are Tower Hamlet students. So, you know, I, I, I know the talent that's out there in the community. Yeah. What does surprise me is how that standard in, increases year on year. Every year. Every, every year that I've done it, it's just been better and better and better. So when, when you judge, when you're on the, you know, I've never been on a judging panel for a, you know, for a film or on art. What is it that you look for? You know, you know, when you decide a winner, what, what, what is it that makes a winner <laughs> when it comes to judging a film? Well, I, I mean... I know there are separate categories. But you, well, there, there are separate categories, yeah. and then there are things that you look for within each category as well. So, you know, ob obviously the, the kind of technical quality of it is, is one thing, but that, that's far away from being the only thing. You know, you have to be entertained, you have to be engaged with mm. the story. You know, you have to, have to feel that you, you've kind of learnt something, I think. Yeah. Um, okay. so, so all those things are in your mind as, as you look at it and you go, yeah, I enjoyed that, that was good. And how many people on the, on the panel? Um, it varies from year to year, but generally it's kind of about three people. Three people. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Let, let me, I'll, I'll come to Stephen now. Stephen, you're an actor. Um, now, We'll, we'll talk about Shonga in the second segment, but tonight we're now we're talking about Limelight. Now, yes, are you familiar with Limelight Awards? Uh, yes, I have become uh, familiar with it recent, uh, yeah. recently. I came to the first Limelight, thanks to Monsa, um this year. and I was This was your first year? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. 
I, I was astonished by it. I thought the, the whole community uh, uh, coming together, and particularly the categories and the, the entries were significantly refreshing mm -hmm. and, and entertaining, and it was a, a lovely atmosphere. And I, th I think, was it Troxy? Troxy. Yeah, we had it in Troxy, yes. Yeah, yeah it's a great venue, isn't it? Super venue. Yeah. And uh, it's, uh, and I have to say, there's some lovely food served during this <laughs> as well. <laughs> there are, but some great films and some remarkably talented people, some great singers and songwriters uh, and entertainers in between the films as well. So overall, I, I think it was, um, it's, it's, a gr it's a big growing thing. It's, it's yeah. a tremendous piece of work. And, yeah. and, and all Is there any particular film or any other, you know, Back to your memory uh, in the night. Yes, they were, they, well, they were they were all pretty marvellous. There was one particular uh, animation which I think won. One two of the one yeah, animation. one one of the categories. Um, all very uh, all from uh, very unique perspectives, um, and so I, I think it'd be unfair of me to single anyone out. No, but of course uh, not. Yeah. I, I think that uh, what what was smashing about it is that the the expressions and, and the stories that were told were unexpectedly varied, mm -hmm. very varied. And, and if, it's, if it is growing so well and it's got a lot of growth to go for years, years ahead, then I think a lot of people are going to enjoy uh, being a part of Limelight in the future. So it's, it's a great thing to look out for. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Well, Murad, thank you for coming on the show. I know you're a busy man. Like you said, you, <laughs> you need to keep the mayor in control. <laughs> Now, you know Monson for, for a while now, haven't you? Yeah. And um, are you aware of the Limelight Film Awards? Have you attended I am. I've, I've been to the last two. I've, um, you know, I'm not a film buff at all by any <laughs> sense of the word, um, or the term, I should say. Um, but I've, I've enjoyed going along to the uh, awards presentation because it gives you some idea <laughs> of the talent out there. And this is, isn't just a Tower Hamlet's thing. This is actually a London, national, Absolutely. even global, yeah. I dare I say. And I was struck, for example, in the first year I went, there was the um, school entry that won the overall entry um, about um, young boys joining the army. And in some ways, I think there's a relevance to this, this year's uh, centenary of World War I. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there was clearly a lot of uh, talent. I, I just have a simple rule, uh, personally. Anything that can hold my attention for... For, 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 for all the way through the film um, has, has got my votes and many of them did okay. uh, in all their variety and, and specialisms. And I, I think it's quite encouraging isn't it to see especially young people from local community, local schools who have give, mm. been given this opportunity to show their talent mm. you know, because without this kind of projects and events where else would these young people and local community have the opportunity? Yeah, it's true. I mean, I c come across a lot of Londoners who, who, who secretly want to be a film director yeah. and what have you. And, and, and um, you know, uh, awards like this give them an opportunity to hopefully show what they can offer w without assuming too much. Uh, I, I think, uh, as, as the case uh, illustrated earlier, some, 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 some of the producers have, have done their pr products for less than five pounds. Yeah. Um, so it doesn't, you don't need to have uh, huge budgets, certainly, uh, just a bit of imagination and flair and will, and uh, it's amazing what you can do. Absolutely. Now, thank you very much, Murad. Mansoor, um, what's the future for Limelight, the Limelight Female Award? Do you think it's going to get bigger and yeah, it's already gone quite big, as Mura said as well, because we, um, it's gone international now, and initially we thought we hold uh, something to celebrate London-based or East London-based artists, but within the first year we had submissions from uh, Ireland and Australia. Uh, but this is the power of the web. Uh, we was in Cannes earlier, uh, earlier this year for Shang so Is there a possibility you might outgrow Troxy? You might have to find a b b bigger we, venue. We, we were actually talking <laughs> to some other uh, ve venue when it's at the moment, but yeah. I love Troxy. It's very versatile, and they've mm. been very generous to us. But um, uh, we were in Cannes earlier this year for Shang Ram, and funnily enough, we met about four or five different filmmakers that have actually all submitted to the Limelight Film Awards in Cannes. Some of them are from the UK, some of them were from France and in other parts as well. So yes, it's gone international. We have, uh, I believe, around 1,400 short films now. 1,400? 1,400 short films in a library. Wow. Uh, and we have just signed up with two other big partners, one from India, one from China which we'll be submitting somewhere in the region of 250 films per year. So now every year we'll be hitting something around 600 to 700 films. Uh, but we don't want to just keep them locked up in boxes, you know, mm. and the awards is done and that's not what it's about. 
So we are in the process, and Pete's going to laugh at this, of launching a web TV channel, which we started about a year and a half ago, but there's a few technical stuff okay. and legal stuff we're going through. But the idea of the web, cha uh, web channel is we can now showcase those short, short films online, internationally, globally, uh, but we can also have some live uh, TV episodes, like what you're having over here, bringing mm. some filmmakers uh, tips and advice. Uh, about filmmaking as well, and just make it something that's more engaging, you know, more rewarding than just the. I mean, the awards itself is brilliant, but we don't want to stop there. We need to have other elements, and we don't want to shelve these 1400 odd films. You know, we need to kind of get bring as much exposure of course. to, to yeah. these filmmakers. Yeah. So what what is the actual um, prize, and what do they, you know, the winner of the night? What do they get? Yeah. Well, first of all, if you're a filmmaker, you will know that the uh, after me you know sweating and going through the process of making a film, you want to be identified, you want some recognition. It's more than five pounds, yeah? More than, yeah. <laughs> 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 the award. The, the, yeah, the <laughs> the <whole> <laughs> <laughs> it, it comes to a point where you, um, you feel like, that, yeah, we want to, you know, you've done this hard work, you want to get some recognition. So for any filmmaker, once your film is nominated, mm. that in itself is a reward, you know? Yeah. You've got this recognition that your film is now one of the nominated films. Then, uh, w I mean, we have four films per category. And then each category you have as we say, four nominations, which is the four films, and then you have one winner per category. So you have a drama category, uh, comedy category, sci-fi, etc. But out of all the winning films, we select one film, which is the film of the night, yeah. and that film gets £10,000 production award to make the next short film, uh, which next year we should be going up to about £20,000. Now, next year will include aerial filming, uh, full f uh, Soho based grading, so full feature uh, studio grading. So uh, explain for the benefit of viewers, what is a production award? What is it? Production award basically is like a voucher that gives them the, uh, the spending power of about £10,000 to utilise uh, professional digital filmmaking, cinema cameras, cinema lens, lighting, sound, you know, the jibs, the crane arms you see. Uh, aerial filming, which so I mentioned not, as well. It's not cash prize. No, no, but this is the, this is what we try to do. Rather, to yes, yeah. but this is better than the cash prize okay. because once filmmakers have the cash to make the next film, they don't always know what equipment that will work with okay. the workflow as well. So we buy that out for them. So even if they did have the cash, they still struggle to get the right equipment. So rather than you know go through that process, it's just easier that this is the, with the sponsors and partners on board. So something like having the aerial filming crew they can get an amazing shot. So of basically the winner of the night yeah. will get the assistance and support to make from a, a production company yeah, to yeah. make the next film. If you think about it in other terms, sometimes people make feature films for 10, 20,000 mm. pounds. But if they're making a 10 minute or a five minute short film for that, they can do some amazing, fantastic works with it. Okay, that's interesting. Now, uh, Peter, um, it's all you know, fantastic. You know, the winner of the night gets a ten thousand pound production for the next film and so on. But to put an event on this on this level, you, know, you need a lot of support and financial su backing from local businesses, uh, local community, and so on. Now, how important is it, you know, for someone like Monsoor, who started this, you know, from a very humble beginning, because he wanted this was his belief. He wanted yeah. something to create for. Uh, create a platform for local community and young people to show their talent. How important is it for local businesses around Tara Hamlet or London to actually acknowledge and support these kind of projects? I, I think it's absolutely vital that, that businesses get on board and help them so make this bigger and better. You know, because it's, it's all about the community and these, these kind of events are very important to Tower Hamlets and the Tower Hamlets community hmm. because, you know, I mean, they're about culture ultimately and, and culture is really really important because um, I think culture tends to be undervalued in our society in the UK mm. but culture is something which gives people a sense of self-worth you know th those filmmakers that Munso was talking about they, they go out they do the hard work to make their films and then to actually get it into something like limelight and to have that recognition gives them a sense of self-worth that it's been worthwhile and yeah. that their stories are being kind of experienced by an audience, which is so important. So to come back to your question, to the, those companies that can help Munsell sort of put this fantastic event on should really be doing that. Absolutely. They really need to be doing that. Right, same question to you. You know, um, cause you, you know a lot of people in our community, in the business community. I, I just feel, sometimes I feel frustrated that, you know, when you see a fantastic project like this, but I know 
at once we've, you know, mm. he, well, yeah. in some ways I think what Monson has done here with Limelight uh, Awards is go actually beyond the community. Yes, yeah. that, that, yeah. that there is scope for involvement and, and that there's clearly a kind of Bengali aspect well, to no, I meant, it. When I meant community, I meant whole true, community. True, true. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and you know, in my yeah. sense also, I, I see it as London-wide as yeah. well. That's yeah. not surprising as an assembly member. Um, so I, I, I think it's actually very easy to plug into it. It's what it does uh, focus, uh, help is focus energies into um, not necessarily competition, but showing your wares and, and, and giving it, uh, get, getting it judged by your own peers. And I think that's very important mm -hmm. so that you feel, you know, something that you put some time and energy together uh, is, is noteworthy or something that will Take, be taken notice of. Absolutely. Now that's what I have seen in the last two occasions that I've been, and I think it's, it's it fosters uh, some I mean, some very good vibes, um, mm -hmm. and it's been uh, entertaining as well. I think people uh, enjoy it, uh, not not only enjoy the evening but uh, enjoy entering it, and I'm sure they get some uh, feedback from the judges about uh, aspects and how things and there's also done course, better. The, yeah. the networking yeah. aspect yeah. of yeah. filmmakers networking. talking yeah. to each other yeah. and realising that they're not isolated mm. that they are part of a filmmaking mm. community. community itself yeah. Yeah. Well, the other thing is um, if you think about it fair enough we're holding diamonds but as we were saying it's London and uh, UK and abroad as well yeah. but just by having this event and unfortunately we have the Troxy which is in Tower Hamlets which happens to be in Tower Hamlets we have 500 people from the film and TV fraternity turn up one night and that's so much buzz in Timeless. Mm. You've got, film, you've got yeah. the film world in Timeless, and it's not in West London, it's in East London. It's in East London, London. yeah. Absolutely. So, this is something that I think we should be very, very proud of. And yeah. the more support we get, it can actually mm. help to strengthen it as well. Of absolutely. Mm. Steve, what's your take on this? You, 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 you were uh, really stimulating my, my, my thought <laughs> buzz at the back of my mind there. It, I, okay, I think it's quite a beautiful model, to say mm. the very least. What you have a number of wonderful ingredients that have come together. Uh, that have become something tangible and, and huge, effectively, from uh, a seed of an idea, mm. a bit of determination, a bit of support. And I think that what Munso and teams Team. have yeah. demonstrated yeah. over time is a return of tangible in, uh, investment. Of course. Uh, and that has grown from a, a tiny little flower in the garden of a community, geographically, that is now over seven years and beyond will just flourish internationally. And if it's being noticed and, and has been uh, submitted to by, by, by artists who are attending the Cannes International yeah. Film Festival, then that really says something. That is astonishing, I, I, I Absolutely. believe. Absolutely. So there's every reason for um, organizations, companies, however small or however large, to, to, to embrace <laughs> <laughs> and get in amongst Absolutely. it. You Absolutely. Know, because of the, the longevity of this. Yes. Yeah program going year in year out and decades on and the, the youth and generations that are going to come up through that who have the need to express things to tell stories of, of you know from all dimensions of, of comedy to uh, heavy drama whatever those those yeah. the, the people need to tell stories and those communications are what, what bind the world and keep the fountain of, of communications and community going and growing absolutely but before we go to a break once the ones the next awards Next awards well, will be opening for the next round of submissions in September, October. October. Uh, and the next awards will be in June again. We, n we haven't decided the venue. It may still be Troxy. Okay. We may be moving slightly more towards central London-ish. And when's, when's the last date for people to submit? It will be in April, but the dates will be. Next year? Yeah, April, April next year. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. Thank you very much. Uh, viewers, we have to take a short break. Uh, please stay with us after the break where we, we're going to come back and talk about the film Shongram. And I'm sure you'll be very interested in Shongram because there's so much to talk about. So I'll see you after the break. <laughs>